Hi, I'm James from Portainer, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new features in version 2.15 of Portainer. First, I'll talk about the new look Portainer UI, as well as our newly added support for GPUs on Docker. Then I'll show you some of the improvements we've made around per-cluster security constraints for Kubernetes, edge agent async functionality, and Nomad support. I'll also talk about environment variable support for webhooks and new image notification functionality for private registries, as well as some usability features like homepage filters, search in the web editor, and build info in the UI. And of course, I'll tell you how you can upgrade to 2.15. The first thing you'll see when using 2.15 is that things look a bit different. Our design and front-end teams have been working hard to make the UI more organized across the board with a modern, more consistent style and behavior so that we can make it easier for you to learn, use, and master Portainer. While this is a big change, we've made sure to keep most things where they are so you won't have trouble using Portainer with the new look. This is also the first step of many UI improvements that are on the way, so keep an eye out for those in future releases. We'd also love to get your feedback on the new look, so let us know what you think. 2.15 brings support for GPUs to our Docker implementation. Now using Portainer, you're able to attach GPUs to containers to take advantage of their processing power for workloads like machine learning. You can make GPUs available to your environments and then select the GPUs to attach to a container and configure the capabilities you require. At the moment, this is only available to Docker standalone installations, but we're hoping to expand this to other platforms in the future. It's also worth noting that much of this particular feature came about because of a community contribution to Portainer. So if you'd like to see a feature in an upcoming version and you have some development skills, have a look at how you can contribute to Portainer in our documentation. There's a link in the video description. When you're sharing an environment between teams, you might want to restrict the access each pod has to limit risks. In Kubernetes, you can achieve this using pod security policies, and now with 2.15, you can apply and manage these policies directly in Portainer. For example, you can restrict running containers as privileged, define the allowed host ports, volume types, file system paths, and much more. Policies are applied on a per environment basis using the popular and trusted open policy agent engine using the OPA gatekeeper, which Portainer will install and configure for you if it doesn't already exist. There's more improvements to our async functionality for edge agents in 2.15. You're now able to list the containers and their running status for edge stacks within Portainer, as well as get log files for your edge stacks. In 2.15, we've extended our Nomad support further by adding live browsing of your Nomad environment in Portainer. Before this, your view in Portainer was based on the latest snapshot and not live data, but now in 2.15, you're seeing up-to-date information in the UI while the tunnel between the Nomad Edge agent and the Portainer server is open. 2.14 added the new image notification feature for public registries, which has been hugely popular. In 2.15, we've expanded this feature to cover private repositories as well, so as long as Portainer knows how to connect to your registry, you'll be able to see at a glance whether your containers are running up-to-date images. Along with the new look, we've made some usability changes to the homepage. You can now filter your environments by connection type, for example, agent, edge agent, API, and you can also see the version of the Portainer agent running on each environment. A good way to tell if all your environments are running the latest version of the agent. We've also added search to all our web editor fields. Hit Ctrl F or Command F if you're on a Mac, and you're able to search the contents of the field. This search supports regular expressions as well. This one also came about from a community contribution. You can now also click the version number in the bottom left of the Portainer UI to show more details about the version of Portainer you're running. We'll often ask for this when trying to troubleshoot an issue, so we've made it easier for you to find it when you need it. We've updated a number of our third-party dependencies in this release for new functionality and bug fixes. We're also looking at deprecating our Compose with a K support in future release, so if you're using that, you might want to look at moving to YAML manifests instead. These are the big features and changes in 2.15, but there's also a lot more other changes and fixes in this release. Have a look at our release notes for the full list of changes. If you're doing a fresh install of Portainer on your environment, Business Edition users can take a look at our install guide at install.portainer.io. This will guide you through what you need to run Portainer and show you how to install it. 
For our community edition, you can use our documentation at docs.portainer.io. Upgrade guides for both editions are also available in our documentation, as well as instructions for upgrading from CE to BE. Thanks for watching. I hope I've been able to show you some of the new features and updates in Portainer 215. If you do have any questions, need help, or would like more information on anything I've talked about here, please check out our documentation, join our community support channels, or get in touch with us directly.